like on the weekend we're going away, this would be walking. So what's Bedford going to in Bar? A lot of walking. I wake up in the morning and walk and walk and walk. And then you shoot and you carry and drag and carry and drag. Like a wind is blowing crosswind, it'll take our scent into the valley. We've got the sun behind us as well. So it's promising to be a good hunt. I'm excited, it's the first water buck I'm gonna get. It's gonna be a good one here. Eh? Shooting today with a 44 revolver, super black hawk, seven and a half inch barrel. Uh, yeah, I reckon it'll do good. They say the fur is quite thick on these animals, so you need quite a heavy load. As far as handguns go, I think a 44 should do the trick. Eh? strong today so, so it's very noisy going through there's a safer line it's very very noisy with all the fame balls and the dry bush and stuff yeah. and twigs so my kind of strategy for today is rather to, to hug the greenery along the edge uh, once we've spotted him we should spot him from quite a distance away then you can maybe head into the thicket and then really just walk nice and slow through there so i think it'll work all right but he has moved he has gone down further away from us He first ranged him at 35 when he was coming in. Yeah. He was, and he walked straight, straight, straight towards us. Let's go and see if this is where the blood is. Beautiful animal there. Eh? Guess that was the last breath. That was the last breath, yeah. Yeah, so the problem with the, the oil on your hands is if you touch the, the meat with that, they say that it makes the meat all rancid. So we had the gloves on, so if by any case we touched the, the fur and we need to touch the meat again, we could just take the gloves and put on fresh gloves again. No need to go wash your hands every time. 
Um, that's why we had my friend Matthew there. He was my my protege in the whole exercise. Um, he was there just purely to hold the skin back and make sure that the hair didn't touch the meat. And I think it went pretty well. He did quite a good job. So I'm looking forward to tasting that meat. I reckon it's going to be good. Eh? It's well handled.